who you trust. And you're going to talk to whoever you talk to, but I talk to Jesus. But hold on to that person who you think might help you. And imagine them right now saying that they can't stop the storm right now, but they will hold you and keep you warm until the storm passes. Because when they hold you, the storm's still there, but it's okay. Because they're with you all the way. Think of your friends. You look them in the eye and you know maybe that they're, they're not really that happy. You go to parties and you just look them in the eye. And you know that they're hurting as well. Everybody's trying to cover up. Can you lift somebody today? Make the choice today to do something good. Hold on to that hope. Open your eyes. Look at me. Tears clean the windows of your soul. That's why you feel good after crying. And I'm here today to hug you. I'm a hugging machine. And if you want a hug, I'm going to, in a couple minutes, get up off this. I'm going to go to a table to the side. There's a table around the corner behind this camera and I want to hug you and I want you to hug me like you've never hugged before because there is healing in hugging and I want you to know that I love you guys so much. Don't give up and know that there is someone always out there who believes in you, who loves you just the way you This is exactly what this school needed because teenagers at this point in their life, they go through trying to find out who they are and you never really get to find it out with other people. People can't tell you who you are. You've got to find it for yourself and you've got to be able to respect yourself and learn to love yourself before you can change your environment and that's really been helpful with what Nick said. It's just, it's told kids that it doesn't matter what you look like, it doesn't matter what what you smell like, it doesn't matter what, what colour eyes you have or what, if you have braces or anything, it just matters who you are on the inside and that person is who everybody should be seeing and if they're not seeing it then you shouldn't, you should be looking for someone else, you should be looking for someone who does see who you are on the inside <laughs> and who does love you. Just the way you are She walks busy streets Looking for her next mate Maybe he will be the one Cause in her mind There is more than left than be She has found the one thing to make her feel loved So she is looking for it In all the wrong places You're beautiful You're beautiful You're Thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak into your life and share with you my story. I hope you've been challenged and inspired to never give up. And I believe that you have been touched. I'd love to hear from you. 
write to me. Go on my website, attitudeisaltitude.com. I enjoy reading so many people's testimonials on how my life has impacted theirs. So please write to me or email me. I also want you to know that there is a book coming and a series of DVDs. So be on the lookout for that. If you see me on the street face to face, make sure you come up and say hello. Give me a hug. I'd love to meet you. Remember, there is always hope. Never give up. Hi, everybody. Hi. How are you doing? Good. It's good. Everybody give yourself a round of applause. Come on, really loud. All right. So you all having a good day? Yeah. Good stuff. Nice to meet you. My name is Nick Vujicic, and as you can see, I have no arms and no legs, but I have my little chicken drumstick here. And uh, this thing, man, I can actually use to drive my wheelchair and write and type on a normal computer. Who's got a computer at home? Cool. I can actually type 43 words a minute on a normal computer. It's really, really cool. And I've got so many things to share with you today, and we're going to have a bit of fun. Who's ready to have some fun? All right. So what I'm going to do now is I just want to show you a little bit about my wheelchair. And uh, this is really, really cool. See this seat belt on mine? This is my seat belt. And then you lock it in, right? And then this little thing, right? It's got a little joystick over here, right? So when I go forwards, it goes forwards. When it goes back, it goes back. When I push it back, it goes back. So let me just show you how I drive it. Would you like to see that? Yeah. Right, so just, you don't have to sit up. Just watch, watch me come up. I'm going to come up the aisle, right? And then I'm going to go back. You want to see me reversing? Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. And you want to see how fast this thing goes? All right, so I'm going to lay, take a little bit of a run up here. All right, you ready? Really fast, right? Ready? You want to see it again? Up the aisle, hold on. Oh! I saw ya. It's all good. Ready? Hey, I've got a horn. You want to hear it again? It's pretty cool. Now, you want to see me jump around? Because outside, I, I take this around, and this is how I get around. But when I'm in my house, I don't really drive this around a lot. I actually... Uh, get out and so I can actually see this seat going down goes all the way to the floor which is really really cool and then I unbuckle myself like this and then I can actually jump out now do you want to see how far I can run yeah. or how fast I can run yeah. all right you ready yeah. just stay down you ready okay ready on your marks get set yeah. all right ready on your marks get set yeah. oh. <laughs> Watch out, I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna go! No, I'm joking, it's all good. Alright, here we go, we're gonna come back. Alright. Here we go. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually jump from my wheelchair onto the table. Do you think I can do that? I can't. I'm just joking. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Mr. Craig to put me on the table. Everybody say, hi, Mr. Craig. Hi, Mr. Craig. All right. So here we go. He's just going to give me a little, hello. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. All right. So the first thing I want to show you is really, really cool. Uh, with my chicken drumstick, I can actually just call this a chicken drumstick. Did I tell you why I call this a chicken drumstick? I don't think so. I call this a chicken drumstick because, first of all, it looks like one, and sometimes my dog thinks it's one. <laughs> and so every now and then, my dog comes and he starts biting on my foot, and I'm like, Psh, hit him in the head a couple of times, right? <laughs> so my chicken drumstick is pretty cool, and uh, I have two toes in it, so I can do the peace sign, and then I have my little other little one. Hello. <laughs> do you like that one? And that one just sits there. It doesn't do much. But with this, 